Sponsored by Shunk Furniture of Marquette. Another nice warm day across Upper Michigan as we start to head into the middle of September. Temperatures are running a good 10 degrees above average and we saw that today. As we look at our local three radar network, we do have the dry conditions across Upper Michigan, but as we look back off towards the north and west, we actually do have some cloud cover trying to move into the western UP, but we also noticed some rain showers and thunderstorms right along the international border between Canada and the United States and northern Minnesota. These are lifting off towards the north. So so they should stay out of Upper Michigan for tonight. Maybe Isle Royal, though, does see some rain showers. As we take you to the south and east, this is Hurricane Florence. This is the visible satellite picture here, and you can see the sun's going down across the Atlantic Ocean, but radar is starting to pick up the outer bands of Hurricane Florence. Winds as of 5 p.m. Eastern were at 120 miles per hour, and the storm doesn't really look that impressive as it did yesterday, and the storm has weakened some. Still, we're moving to the north West at 16 miles per hour, and this is going to cause an issue or cause issues with the storm in the Carolinas as we go into the weekend. So as we go into the daytime on Thursday and into Friday, I want you to notice here not much movement with this storm between Friday and also Saturday. And now the National Hurricane Center in Miami is expecting this storm to actually slow down, maybe stall and linger right along the coast. So we're looking at potentially some strong damaging winds, storm surge that's going to cause coastal flooding. And then as this moves, towards the inland areas of South Carolina and North Carolina and maybe even into Tennessee. We are looking at potentially some major flooding this weekend. This is going to be a big weather story, a big long duration weather story as we head through the end of the week and into the weekend and even into early next week. For our weather though, our in-house computer model is showing dry conditions through the daytime on Thursday and also Thursday night. Our next storm system of note though will be moving in here late in the day on Friday and that may bring some locations west of Marquette, some rain showers and thunderstorms. But for tonight, dry conditions with some patchy fog possible. Low temperatures around 60 or into the 60s. Some inland areas, though, could drop into the 50s. As we look at your fishing on shop marine forecast, waves in most locations 1 to 2 feet. On Lake Michigan and the Bay of Green Bay, waves 1 to 3 feet. So use some caution if you do have a kayak. Seven day forecast keeps the warm weather around through the weekend, but we will have a night storm chance on Friday and Saturday, especially west of Marquette. Dry conditions, warm and humid though for Sunday and Monday. And then Tuesday, it's a storm chance high.